Now comes the insulin and other glucose lowering drugs which are also called hypoglycemics and are used to treat diabetes and related disorders. In the insulins we have three types of insulins. Uh, rapid and short acting insulins, intermediate acting insulins and long acting insulins. In the rapid and short acting insulins we have four types of insulin. Number one is the regular insulin. We have regular insulin. Then we have insulin S part. Then we have insulin glue, lysine and insulin Lispro. So we have regular insulin, S part, glue lysine and Lispro. These are the rapid and short acting insulins. And in the intermediate acting insulin we have just one and that is NPH insulin. While NPH stands for neutral protamine H dot. And in the long acting insulins we have two which are insulin datimir and insulin glargine. Uh, now we come to the amylin analog and amylin analog there is just one and that is pramlintide. pramlintide. Now come an important class of the drugs which are called oral agents or oral hypoglycemics. In the oral hypoglycemics we have further insulin secretagogues, we have insulin secretagogues, then we have insulin sensitizers, then we have alpha glucosidase inhibitors, and finally we have dipeptidiol dipeptidase 4 inhibitors right and uh, in the insulin secretagogues we have two types of drugs sulfonylureas and glenides in the sulfonylureas there are two uh, generations of sulfonylureas the first generation is just one drug and that is tolbutamide in the first generation of sulfonylureas we have just one drug and that is called tolbutamide while the second generation sulfonylureas are easy to understand because they are just three drugs and all start from G. All starts from G and these are the second generation sulfonylureas. Glimi, pyride, glipizide and gliburide. So these are the second generation sulfonylureas commonly used. And in the glenides, <coughs> then we have glenides. In the glenides we have natiglenide. We have neti glenide and we have rapa glenide neti glenide and rapa glenide then come the insulin sensitizers and in the insulin sensitizers we have bigonides and in the bigonides there is just one drug and that is very much important and commonly used and that is called metformin metformin is a bigonide which is insulin sensitizer then are the thiazolidine dions which are also called glitazones. And in the glitazones, we have three glitazones. We have pioglitazone, pioglitazone, we have rossi glitazone, and we have tro, tro glitazone, tro glitazone. And then we have alpha glucosidase inhibitors. In the alpha glucosidase inhibitors, we have two drugs. In the alpha glucosidase inhibitors, we have two drugs, which number one is a carbose, a carbose, a carbose, and the second one is me glitol, me glitol. These are the alpha glucosidase inhibitors, and then comes the dipeptidiol, dipeptidase 4 inhibitors. And there are two drugs in this category, which are sexagliptin and cetagliptin. So these were the oral hypoglycemics. Now comes the incretin mimetics. And in the incretin mimetics, we have axinatide, axinatide, and diraglutide. 